Hi guys, welcome back. This is question 17, another very tricky question, but one that hopefully won't be too difficult to understand after this working out. Question 17 is a dilution type question. What's happened is we need to prepare a 2.5 litre formaldehyde solution. What's happened is that we've had 15 mils of it, it's been diluted to 250 millilitres, and then at the end you get a solution that is 0.5% strong. We have the stock solution of 50% and that is what we need to use to work out in millilitres and then calculate it to one decimal place. So with this question, what do we know? We have 15 millilitres, it's been diluted to 250 and then that you end up with as a 0.5% solution. So because you've gone from 15 to 250, you have to times that by 16.667. So 250 divided by 15, will give you 16.66667 and that is your dilution factor. Therefore, the 0.5% solution needs to be 16.66667 times stronger to get our concentration that we then need to use with the 2.5 litres. So 0.5 times by your 16.66667 will give us a concentration of 8.33. Now we use our concentration of 8.33 with our volume of 2.5 litres. So we have 8.333 grams in 100 mils. We will get 208.333 grams in 2500 millilitres. So we have the amount of amaldehyde that we need for the stock solution and we have our concentration of the stock solution as well which is 50 percent so we need to use the 50 percent with the 208.33 grams so 50 percent means that our 50 grams in 100 mils 208.33 grams are inside 416.666 milliliters so that is our answer however our answer needs to be in milliliters to one decimal place so therefore our answer becomes 416.7 millilitres to one decimal place. So that's question 17 guys. I hope dilution factors are now a little bit clearer. I hope you can use this for the exam and smash those questions when they come up. That's guys, question 17. More coming soon. Stay tuned. See you soon. Bye.